Quen? Can I ask you something? You look like someone who can keep a secret, right? Yeah, I guess I could. If I tell you something, you promise not to tell? Yeah, I promise. Do you... like Moonbeam? She seems nice and all, I guess I do like her, but not really in that way. I do. I can't stop thinking about her. Can you tell her for me? But it won't mean anything coming from me. If you really want her to know how you feel, you've got to tell her yourself. Hello? Anyone here? I, I think I can do it now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tell her. Well, what did she say? She's not there. No. But I found this note. Read what it says. Wow, this is terrible. If you think you are going to save the human race, think again. I have kidnapped the one you call Moonbeam, and if you ever want to see her again, you must abandon helping the humans and let them continue to their doom. Choose wisely, the humans or the girl. Well. Wow. You won't get away with this. Oh, on the contrary, my dear. I already have. I have friends who are on their way right now. Why did I do this, you ask? Because I hate humans. I crash landed on Earth many years ago at a young age. I was asked, or forced rather, by my parents to learn to fly. You see, I was royalty, and I had to prove my worth by flying ships and defeating various space creatures if I was ever to carry on the family name. I almost died in the crash, and although I did make a full recovery in their hospital, I was stranded on that stupid planet. Stupid planet didn't have the resources for me to make the repairs and leave. But what really pushed me over the edge was as I was stuck on Earth for so long, I discovered the bad side of humans. With their corrupted governments, corrupted religions, and the way they basically ruin everything. And the worst thing of all, people would treat me like dirt, just because I look different. It angered me so. My race aren't usually violent. But I decided to take my anger out on the humans and get my revenge. I wanted to exterminate them all. But, since my lab assistant refused to go along with my plans, despite the fact I built him to do just that, I had to do this all myself. I did everything I could to start World War III. I infected all their computers, including their precious smartphones they're so attached to. And it wasn't difficult to write a virus that would use all their combined power and hack the military computers and launch every nuke in their world. Are you, like, done now? Almost. Every mad scientist has to do a monologue explaining their evil plan, you know. It's part of our union. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Just before Earth's destruction, I beamed my consciousness into a robotic backup body I have here on this ship. Pretty realistic, wouldn't you say? Not even my own mother would notice the difference. But then, oh then, just when I thought every human was gone, just when I thought for I had won. There were more of them in those ships that left Earth. So, what's this gotta do with me? Nothing much. But by capturing you, it will slow down your friend's attempt to save the humans, and you'll never get out of there. Go on. Try it. Oh, you mean like this? 
What? You could have escaped at any time? Yes, but then you wouldn't have told me your plan. And now... Now we all know. What the... Where did you come from? Out there? Oh, I have my ways, man. And we've been here long enough to know what you're up to. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be much use locking you up since Starkids apparently can't be captured. Well, yeah. I'm still gonna do it. Nice try, man. Careful with that. Well, well, well. How the tables have turned. You can't do this to me. I demand you let me out. Yeah, okay. We'll let you out. Uh, later. Much later. I'm telling you, man, we gotta turn this crate around and go someplace else. No, I don't mean back to it, but I know somewhere is way better. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, why should we believe you? You just randomly turned up and now you're telling us what to do. I know, I know it's totally it's weird that some random, random alien, alien you've never met before, before is telling you what to do, what but you have, have to trust me, it's not, not what you what think. think. Sounds rather fishy to me. Yes, yes, I guess, I guess it, it does, does sound fishy, fishy but, but I've been, been to that planet, planet and I know, I know just, just what, what it's like. like. We can get you to a, a much, much better planet, 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 and it's no, no further, further away, away from where you were going, going just, just in a different, in a different direction. direction. Clem, it's for you! Ah, who is it? Uh, I don't know. Some fairy wants to talk to you. Ah, mm, I'll be right down. Red? What are you doing here? Does your big bro know you're here? Yeah, it was his idea. He told me to tell you that he's telling everyone about the planet. Right, I kind of guessed that. What was that? What was what? You didn't see it? Um, no. There was a bright light all around me, and I felt weird for a second, and then it was gone. How could you not see it? Uh, it just happened to me, too! What the heck is going on? I don't know. Let's ask Moon. He'll know. He knows everything. No idea, man. You sure you didn't just dream it up or something? But it happened to both of us. Yeah, it happened to me, too! So, you thought you'd stopped me, did you? You have no idea who you're dealing with. Not bad. Not bad at all. Self again. Yes, I almost forgot about all of you, my clones. But soon, soon, with your help, we will win. So, how's your public address thingy going? Can't really say. I think some are done with what I said. Some of the others, though, not so much. 
Well, I'm gonna go find Jane and the others. Uh, good luck with the speech and all. Hey! What the? How did you do that? How did I do what? I saw you leave, like, just now, and now you're here again. No, you didn't. And people say I'm going crazy. Are you feeling okay? What's with the glasses? Well, what's with your glasses? Dude, I always wear these. You know I do. It's not like I'm short-sighted or anything, it's just part of who I am. Yeah, an ancient hippie who's got no idea what he's talking about. You don't want to listen to this loser. Think about it. He came out of nowhere and now he's trying to tell you what to do. He's just trying to take you somewhere where you will die. There's nothing wrong with that planet we're going to. I don't know what's gotten in you, but I think you better leave, like, right now. With pleasure. Come on, Red. Let's go find someone cool to hang out with. Hey, wait, you... Ah, never mind. You think the plan worked? Hmm. This is just the beginning. I've got an idea, though. Let's make our own speech. We'll have our own crowd to address. And then more people will come over and believe us. And then more, until finally everybody's listening to us, and nobody's listening to Hippie Boy anymore. That's brilliant, but... But... We don't even have a crowd, stupid. What? Oh, yeah. Why didn't I see that? Oh well, the Master could send down more clones. They could pretend to be listening to us, and it will get the whole ball rolling. If you get what I'm saying. We just gotta sound convincing, that's all. So, I'll go to Clem's house, look for something to address the crowd with. You call the Master and have him send down the clones. Then we meet back here, yeah? Huh. Got it. Hello, dear. You back already? Nope, you're just going crazy. What? Um, nothing. Um, <clears throat> uh, just, just a joke. Need any help? No, I've almost found it. Are you feeling okay? Your voice sounds a little rough. It's fine, you fool. <clears throat> I mean, it's, um, uh, sore throat. Yeah, sore throat. It's a bug going around. Makes people say mean things too. <coughs> That was too close. Come on, he must have something useful in here. Aha! Yes, this will work. They're sure to hear me with this. Ah, there you are. Did you get the clones? Huh? You know, the clones? Where are the clones? What? Send in the clones. I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't you remember? Our plan to take over and wipe out every last human? Hey! Ah, there you go. You see? You did get the clones. Now we just... Wait a minute. How can you be standing over there when you're also standing right here? That's because he's not me. I'm out of here! He knows too much! Get him! Well, the deed is done. Right, let's do this thing. Ah, oh, where could he be? He only said he was going to the toilet and that was like five minutes ago. We'll never get to talk to Jane and the rest at this rate. Oh, Red. Red! Red, are you okay? Yeah. This seems to happen to me a lot. Who did this to you? Apparently I did! How? How could you tie yourself up? It wasn't me! Well, it, it was me, but it was another me! Is that robe cutting off the circulation to your brain? That doesn't make any sense. But you were there! Don't you remember? You told me to go after me! Oof! I did? Yeah! And... You kept talking about clones, and taking over, or something. You sure have some imagination there, kid. Well, who tied me up then? Does that sound right to you? 
He's just using you for his own gains. Come on! Give me the blowhorn! No! Give it! No, it's mine! Give me the horn! Got it. He's been experimenting on me. I used to be human. And look at what he's turned me into. Here. Now do you think you can trust someone like that? Who knows what he'll do to you? Yeah, who knows what he'll do to you? You sure you're not trying to take over? I wouldn't even know where to begin taking over. Besides, I don't even have a pair of dark sunglasses. Hey, what's going on over there? Looks like quite a crowd. Yeah, don't trust them. They're untrustworthy people. And they seem very stupid too. Now, do you believe me? I hate to say it, but I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it. Well, I think we better tell Moon about this. Then I'll get the others. You've got a lot of nerve coming back here after what you did. Wait, you don't understand. There's a clone of me going around talking absolute trash. Oh, really? There's even a clone of me! Yeah, you! With the butt-shaped head! Yeah, you! What head? What is it? You know what, Clem? I think you're right. And they do look pretty stupid. So what do you think we should do? Well, I say, we go to war. Yeah, go to war! We'll rage war on those who don't believe us. And if they refuse to join us, well, that's too bad. Yeah, too bad! <laughs>